You know, cleanup uh, continues in Mississippi this morning, following those massive storms and tornadoes plowing across the state, leaving more than 20 people dead, thousands of homes destroyed. The city of Rolling Fork hit hardest. You know, people in multiple counties were just bracing, uh, holding on for more than an hour. Uh, the twister devastated Silver City, which is about 30 miles away from Rolling Fork. The National Weather Service giving the tornado a preliminary EF4 rating. Maximum winds reaching 170 miles per hour. Now communities and state officials are coming together. They've got to deliver that help. It's so much needed. Uh, water, clothing, food. Uh, Lindsay David Adams Jr. is sheriff of Sharkey County in Mississippi. Uh, and he's with me right now to talk about the recovery efforts. Thank you so much. I know you all are busy. And the fact that you take the time here, it really does mean something to us. So how are you doing right now? How is your home and family? Yeah, we're doing we're doing good right now. We're holding on. Uh, just got a long road ahead of us. How long do you think right. it's going to take to rebuild? Uh, I would, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared to put a date on it. Uh, it's going to it's going to be a while. It's going to be it's going to be some years. It's going to be some years, some years. Yes, yes. What's going to take the longest? Is it is it going to be the rebuilding of homes and businesses? Why why do you believe it's going to take quite so long? Between, I mean, the damage we have. I mean, you, you, we're talking about like ninety, probably ninety percent of, of the town, the city of Rolling Fork is gone. Wow. Uh, between the cleanup and the rebuilding back, we're looking at some years. It's not. This is not going to be a six month, twelve month ordeal. This this is going to be a couple of years. I think it's it's fascinating because we say, you know, we, we cover these stories all the time and, and we see the damage and it's it looks like, oh, that's just a few blocks. But when you say an entire town, 90 percent of a town, I grew up in a town yeah. smaller than Rolling Fork, uh, about half the size. Y'all, uh, Rolling Fork is about 2,000 people. And to think yes. that everything in the town is completely wiped away and how devastating that could be. What do you think the best way to help is? Would it, would it just be cast donations through the Red Cross website or is there anything else that we can do? Well, it's probably going to take a little bit of all of it. Uh, I know a lot of families, I mean, uh, some are not as fortunate as others. Uh, it's going to take cash and also just just resources. And the resources are coming in very well right now. But, but like I said, we still got a long ways to go, long the, ways to go. The first thing I think about when I see all these cars that were tossed around is these folks have to go to work. You know, you can't just, yeah. your house got blown away. You've got kids in school you got to go back to work. And how are you going to get there when you've been upended like that? I, I just pray that there's some car dealerships or some people that can donate some cars that they don't need to some of these folks. Yeah. Um, that's something that I would dream of doing too. Sheriff uh, Adams, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.